cupcakes welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing the first the first what's going on with my accent <laughs> the first cash stuffing for the month of october it is spooky season it's the first of october i'm actually filming this in advance because i get paid on the 5th and the 20th but um past few paychecks we've been getting paid on my days off and i don't get direct deposits so i don't really feel like going into work on my days off just to get my check and then you know go about my day so i've been calculating my hours and kind of estimating how much i'm going to get paid and been trying to budget from there on um sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but that's just basically what i've been doing just because i've been lazy to go to work on my days off to get my check but um as you guys can tell i have my little pumpkins out here I did lit them up. They were lit up the last time, but it was really, really bright when I was filming the last video. So hopefully you guys can kind of see them now. I know you guys liked them in my last video. I did get them from Daiso's. They're only like $4. So check your Daiso's for any Halloween um, decorations. And I, I know I didn't do check-ins for the remaining of September because I was on vacation. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I did stay in budget for whatever I saved for my sinking funds for my... Um, adventures envelope and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I did log um, so I was on vacation all last week and I didn't really log anything from there but just know I stayed within budget and then um, on Monday the 27th I did get my safety check done that was about $26 Tuesday I spent um, $10 at the chiropractor office doctor's appointment I tried to budget only $11 to put in gas to kind of last me until I was going to pull out money and then groceries I just picked up some stuff for like $6 and then on Wednesday and Thursday I had no spend days so that's really really good um when you guys are watching this it's October 1st I did spend some money so I'm going to go ahead and log that into my planner off camera and probably do a check-in with you guys next week because you guys seem to really like my check-in so i'm going to try to do that again for october it should work out because i'm not you know going on vacation or anything so um clearly it's been a while since i filmed this kind of video and i feel like i'm all over the place so i don't have anything left in my cash envelopes they're completely empty and then we are going to be cash stuffing 681 dollars today so let's go ahead and count that on camera 100 150 200 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 96, 650, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81. So that was $681 that we're going to be cash stepping. And I don't have a lot of room here. Y'all, I need to get me a cash tray. I'm telling you, I'm going to make one once I get up to the mainland. And I hit up a Dollar Tree. Guys, I'm so excited for a Dollar Tree because we don't got that here in Hawaii. We like to pay full price. Full price on everything. <laughs> no, we don't like to, but um, it's just a cost of what it's like to live in paradise, right? But you guys, we are going to be moving in about a month. I'm scared. I'm excited. I know you guys wanted me to document, you know, the process of things and I am going to be doing that um, or at least try to do like a sit down video about it. Okay guys, I don't have any room but the $100 is going to go right there. It's just going to go right there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do my cash envelopes first. Groceries is going to get $80, so that's going to be in all 20s, and it's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, so $80. And the main reason, too, why I needed to cash stuff early and not wait till the 5th is because I do not want to use my credit card, and, you know, I just kind of really want to budget myself, so I've noticed this method of me like kind of calculating my hours because I don't get paid salary. So me calculating my hours and trying to figure out how to budget from there has been working and helps me keep, you know, stay within budget. So coffee, no, this is not coffee. Eating out is going to get $40 and I'm upping this because my adventure buddy is going to be coming home next week and I'm hoping to like, you know, meet up, go out for lunch, stuff like that. 
Um, there is a Halloween pop-up bar at Ala Moana. If you guys are familiar with Oahu, you guys know where Ala Moana Ma is. And the owner of the place that I scare at during um, October, they have a pop-up bar. So I want to check that out too. So try to stay within budget. Coffee is going to get $10. And I've been stuffing coffee again because it is fall. And I like to treat myself to a little pumpkin spice latte, cold brew, stuff like that every now and then. So I try to just kind of budget myself with that. So coffee gets 10. I am gonna give myself $20 just for anything that I may not budget. And then if I see something I want, I have $20 for something. It's better to have it than not have it. And then if I don't spend this, then I'll just roll it over to a sinking fund or something, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> And then gas, I am gonna give myself $50 because my boyfriend's car gets shipped out this month and I'm anticipating that we are gonna be using my car a lot more. So hopefully $50 will last us a good amount of time until the next paycheck. So that's just me trying to prepare for what's coming in this month. Like I said, everybody's cash stuffing is going to be different and fluctuates month to month depending on what's going on in their lives. And right now, we are really in the ending process of moving. So that's that. So we have all of our cash envelopes stuffed. It feels so good to have these little envelopes stuffed and not empty anymore. Okay, so we're still in expenses. Um, so since it is our last full month here, um, I did ask my mom if I could just give her a little bit less money than normal um, just so I could help save up for the move because my hours have gotten cut in the past two weeks. So, I mean, I'm stuffing a lot more than normal, but basically I know you guys, this is my whole check that I'm going to be cash stuffing. So, and you guys know if you guys have been around in my channel that I've been wanting to, um, build on my savings account but it's really hard with how hours have been and me going on vacation so um, my mom is nice enough to let me just give her a little bit less money than normal so rent is going to get $50 pets will get its usual five and this is just to help with their food because we do have pets my phone bill I'm splitting that in half as usual so that's getting 25 And car insurance is getting 50. So, um, all of this is gonna go in my rent envelope that you see right here. So, we have 50, 100, 20, 5, 30. So, we have 130. So, we're just $50 short of what I normally give her. I normally give her like 180 every check. Um, that's to cover half of my phone bill for the first part of the month and then the remaining half I give her at the second check but things are gonna change once we move so my budgeting ways is gonna change guys so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how I budget that I do plan on giving my mom the phone bill and car insurance payment at least for one month ahead because I'm not gonna be you know working or I hope I can find a job when we get up there as soon as possible but just in case I'm gonna give her the um, phone payment and my car insurance at least a month in advance I would like to do it two months in advance um, I might do that just so I don't have to worry about it um, so it just depends I might just do that and just pull money from my savings we'll see and then Melaleuca is gonna get $50 so 50 no not $50 $90 so 50 70 and 90 and that goes in this green envelope and what's going on here this is basically my visa card and it's a credit card and i use this envelope to either put money in to pay it off or if i'm using it on certain categories i pull money from there so it's still a great way to try to budget yourself and get your points when using your credit cards by doing it this way let me know if you guys do it that way and if it's been working for you. So my Melanuka credit card now has 50, 70, 
90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 165, 160, 165, 170, 123. So $173 is saved. And I need a deposit this before the 8th to pay it off. And that's more than needed, so that's good. So now for the fun part, we have our sinking funds and Adventures is not gonna get stuffed because I was beefing this up past few paychecks because we were going on a vacation. I'm not gonna stuff it this time. It's not a high priority um, sinking fund for me right now, but Adventures has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars So that's eleven dollars that I saved from budgeting for my past um, trip. Ashley and myself, I'm not giving anything to myself and I still have $15 in here. Who is gonna get $5? I do wanna, you know, put more in this with the holidays coming, but right now I can't. Um, so Boo now has 10, 5, 10. Car maintenance has, uh, is not getting stuffed. I paid off um, I paid my registration, I did my safety check all last month and this month, so we're good for a while. Um, so car maintenance has 20, 1, 2, and 3. Oh, sorry guys. So car maintenance has 23. Christmas is going to get $5. I'm actually going to stuff this one. Hey, it's not a lot, but it's something, so... Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. $95 saved. And I mean, it's not a lot, but I'm probably just going to get like my parents and, you know, people small little gifts. I'm pretty sure they'll understand, you know, what's going on. But hopefully I can get some money in to that sinking funds pretty soon because Christmas is only two months away emergency i'm not gonna stuff this time gifts is gonna get twenty dollars that's a lot more than normal because i do plan on giving some people some gifts um and then oh i only have five in here because i have my one of my best friend's birthday this sunday so i got her some stuff so um yeah, I got five dollars left over. <laughs> and then Gibbs now has twenty-five with the twenty dollars that I had put in. Health is gonna get twenty. I need to buy my balance, but I also need to pay my dental bill. So the balance powder needs to wait. <laughs> so health now has twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, one twenty, one thirty. And 100 of that is actually going to go to my dental bill. Um, home is going to get $20 and just to get like stuff for when we move for a future place. So home now has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And I'm planning on getting some stuff before the movers come and pack everything so it can be shipped with you know, our belongings. Retirement is actually just gonna get this one little dollar right here. I haven't been stuffing this, but it's a dollar, it's something. So retirement help has five, 10, 11. I think I'm gonna make it a habit to at least put at least a dollar in here. Okay, the next one is gonna be moving money. And where is that? Okay, moving money is gonna get $25, so. 5 and 25 and this is actually already fully funded but I just want to stuff it with a little bit of something just in case anything was to happen um, I have some money saved up for it you know what I mean um, so I did find out that um, the checked bags are gonna be okay I, that's what I was kind of saving for for when you fly was our check-in bags but that's gonna be taken care of so this is just in case anything happens in the process of us moving. So moving now has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $1,750 saved. So I gotta figure out too when I need to pay that car shipping people. <laughs> so much to do guys, so much to do. And then this envelope is for our eating um, eating out video. Like I mentioned, my boyfriend and I wanna make a video of all our favorite places that we wanna hit up before we leave um, home. And then it has $40 now. So I'm adding another 20, that makes 40. And then um, pets. I just bought my cat a carrier off of Facebook marketplace I got a pretty good deal because it was brand new it still had its tag and the Sherpa bags cost like 60 70 dollars and up so we're bringing my cat with me and this is all for her so the goal was 400 but it's gonna fluctuate now since I kind of took care of that part of what I was saving up for and she's gonna get $100 because this month she's getting groomed and she needs to do her vet check so she now has 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 245, 246. 246 dollars saved for her. I'm just gonna take this out because it might confuse me later. And then this is my savings challenge, and I'm actually gonna be stuffing week 9 10 and 11 just to make sure i can hit that 14 week um mark because i do plan on not working the beginning of november and this is actually going to go into the middle of november so i'm going to be stuffing for the next 9 10 and 11 weeks making that 70 dollars that i'm gonna put oh Okay guys, so I did my math wrong. I was supposed to be cash stuffing for the next 9, 10, and 11 weeks, but I didn't take out enough money. So we're just gonna stuff for week 9 and 10, which makes it $45, which is the remaining money we have here. So 20, 40, and five. And that's gonna go into this savings challenge envelope that I have right here. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna check this off. Let me just get a pen. So week nine and 10. So the next paycheck, I'm just gonna do all four because I'm supposed to do three today, but I didn't take out enough money. So that's that. So I do have $25 because I did sell some stuff off of Facebook Marketplace. And instead of doing a whole other video for that, um, I'm just going to stuff the $25 that I made in this video and the $5 I'm just going to go ahead and put in emergency since I mean I am going to be dipping into that um, envelope eventually so I'm just going to put $5 into the emergency envelope since I wasn't able to really stuff it with the paycheck so emergency now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. So 142 dollars of save, which is really, really good. And then this 20 dollars is actually going to go into this new challenge that I have. And it's from Brianna Life and Budgets aka my new best friend when she doesn't know it yet just kidding she already knows guys i already told her okay i already told her <laughs> but don't mind the envelopes in the back um so she came up with this luxury challenge and it's a treat yourself luxury challenge you work hard fill in the wallet to save up for your desired luxury items and each wallet ooh, each wallet is worth 20 dollars. so i have 20 dollars right here and i'm gonna color that in off camera because I don't have a marker by me. So this 
is gonna all of the bags is gonna make eight hundred dollars and then if you color the purse that's an extra one hundred dollar bonus to get you nine hundred dollars saved and i have a problem with you know i like to treat myself here and there with like small items when, but when it comes to like luxury and like name brand stuff i don't like tend to bite the bullet and bite it um like buying it but like i mean if i want it if i work hard you know and save a little bit of money here and there when i can then why not treat myself and she even mentioned in her video that just because it's a luxury challenge it doesn't mean you need to buy luxury items like you know name brand high-end gucci chanel wallets um but if you want to then use this challenge to use that for um, or it could be to build up a savings account or something like that but for me i do have my eye on something luxury that i want to buy myself eventually and say that you know i bought it myself so that's basically um what i'm going to be using this challenge for all right guys that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet already so you guys could be one of my cupcakes and let me know if you guys are going to be doing brianna's luxury challenge check her out she's the one that made the challenge she's the one that made my little mini cash envelopes as well as my green leaves envelopes um, my pink envelopes are from homemade with her on etsy i'm not too sure if she has a youtube channel um and i know my binder is pretty fat but i do plan on doing or getting another binder to kind of do high priority sinking funds and lower priority sinking funds with challenges i just want to pick my next binder and make it cute so let me know what kind of designs i should do if you guys have any suggestions let them leave them in the comments down below but like i said if you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and if you guys are excited for spooky season and i'll see you guys in the next video